Suddenly, Jesus started to pray. Thank you, God of heaven and earth. You have hidden your ways from the wise and learned, but spell them out clearly to the youngest of children. In the name of your glorious love, amen. You may be seated. Happy St. Francis Day, all saints. This is a day of joy and blessing, and sometimes a day of surprise. We do some things here on St. Francis Day that we don't do in other Sundays, and the surprise that I have for you today is that we are going to play. It's a very special kind of play called Godly Play, and our children do this every week in children's church and Sunday school. And so we're going to tell the story of St. Francis and we are going to wonder together. Thank you. I'm gonna put my feet over here. Thanks. I'm not as good at sitting cross-legged as you guys are. Are you ready? Good. This is the desert box. We use the desert box to tell stories about people who have come so close to God and God so close to them that they knew that God wanted them to do something new and brave, and they did it. Today is the story of St. Francis. His story is in the desert box because he came close to God in a very special way. Let's see what Francis's way was. Now, Francis didn't live in the desert. He lived in a town. So we are going to make the desert into a town and into a countryside. Is it church? Is it our church? It can be. It could be. Yeah, it looks like our church. I think so too. It's got a tower, right? Now Francis lived in this town and he could hear the children laugh and play and the horses go clip clop, clip clop on the cobblestones and the blacksmith pound the anvil with his hammer. You could even hear the church bells ring every hour. Now here is Francis's house. He had a big house with lots of stuff and all the things that he needed. He liked to have parties with his friends, but he only wanted to be friends with people who were like him. On the other side of town, there lived some people who were poor. And there was a baby. They didn't have a lot of clothes or good things to eat. But Francis didn't think about them very much. On the outside of town, there were some people who lived that were sick.
they had an illness, a sickness that was called leprosy, and you could catch it kind of like a cold, except it was much more dangerous than a cold. And people were afraid to be close to them, so they wouldn't even let them come into town. People were, were afraid, and especially Francis. He was very afraid, and he really didn't like to think about all those people that were sick. In the middle of town was a church. Francis went to church on Sunday, but he didn't think much about God the rest of the week. He thought God only lived at church. He couldn't see God anywhere else. And even though Francis had more than he needed, do you know he thought if he had more money and more stuff, he would be even more special and important, maybe even the most special of all. But it didn't work that way. The more he wanted to be more special than any... Some water? Yeah, we'll get you some. More than, the more he wanted to be more special than anybody else, the more lonely he felt on the inside. His tummy was full, which was good, but his heart felt empty. He had lots of things on the outside, but on the inside, in his heart, he wasn't very happy. One day, Francis got sick. And while he was sick, an amazing thing happened. He began to think about all those sick people who couldn't come into town. Francis began to feel sad for them. His heart began to grow, and he started to feel closer to God and to feel love for the people that weren't like him. Francis was learning that everyone is special. He even started to feel less afraid of the people who were sick. After he got well, he was taking a walk one day, and he ran into a person who was sick. Instead of running away, Francis gave him a big hug. falling down. And Francis made new friends, and they weren't all like him. Some were poor, and one had a hard time learning in school, and one person was very short, and one person was very tall, and one person spoke a different language, and one person had been born with only one leg. They were not people Francis would have invited to his big parties, but Francis knew his friends loved him, and he loved them too. We're going to make the forest. Here's a big With so much love in his heart, Francis felt so happy and free and so overjoyed that his feet started moving. In fact, he started dancing, and his dancing carried him out into the countryside. The birds were singing, and the bees were buzzing, and you could feel the breeze and hear the water in the stream close by. And the sun was hot, so Francis went to sit under a tree.
And do you know what happened? The tree gave him shade and the leaves danced and the wind, just like Francis had danced. Francis felt God's love in the tree and the wind and the leaves and he felt it in his heart too. Francis saw the bright sun and the cool rain made the grass and the flowers grow. The bees came and they danced inside of the flowers and flew away to make honey. It was good to eat. Francis saw that the sun and the rain and the flowers and the bees were all friends and they helped each other. They didn't try to be the most important or the most special. They were special together. Now Francis learned to be very quiet and gentle. And he sat out there in the countryside and the animals became curious and came up to him to see who he was. There was a cow. There was a sheep. There was a kangaroo. There was a goose. And a little owl. And there was a pelican and a moose and a very big horse. Thank you. That's perfect. Thank you, honey. That's a great one. That's okay, too. And there was even a snake. And Francis even became friends with a wolf. Now the wolf was a little scary, but Francis was not afraid of it. He listened to the wolf and the wolf said, ow, wow, 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 and grrr. Francis listened and he knew that the wolf was very cranky because he was very hungry. Francis made sure the wolf got food to eat, and you know what? He wasn't cranky anymore. All the animals became Francis's friend and his teachers, too. And Francis knew that God was in the animals. Francis found out that God was everywhere, not only in church. God was in the trees and the sun and the moon and the flowers and the animals and even the wolf. God was also in all of the people. It made Francis so happy. His heart was full of love. And he had friends everywhere he went. Francis was rich in love. Kelly, would you like to help us wonder today? Okay, so tell me, where do you see yourself in this story? In the country? In the countryside. Yeah. In the countryside. Very good. Anybody else see themselves in the story or is there, yes, go ahead. 
the forest. Here comes Kelly. The forest? The garden. The garden. Yes, thank you. The countryside. The countryside. She has one too, Kelly. In church. In church. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Would you like to ask the next, next question, Kelly? Yeah, I wonder where or what part of the story we could leave out and still have all the parts we need. So what could we get rid of and the story would still be the same? What do you think? Thank you. The desert? The desert. Mm -hmm. The desert? The desert? Mm -hmm. The sick people? The okay. sick people. The poor people? More people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Old people? The old people. Oh no. Isn't that an idea? Hold How on old? one second. How old? <laughs> Sorry, Sally. <laughs> Do you have, can I ask another question, Kelly? Do you have a part you like best? What made you the happiest? Or what did you like best? Yeah. When Francis gave the wolf food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that where you saw yourself in the story, Keenan? Getting food? I do. Okay, I can see that. Flowers are my favorite. Flowers, Flowers. are my favorite. Mm -hmm. Good. The church? The church. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The church. The church. Okay. Thank you all very much. Now we have a reader. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Suddenly, Jesus started to pray. Thank you, Father. Lord of heaven and earth, you can seal the ways of those, the, the wise and learned, but spilled them out clearly to the youngest children. Yes, God, this is the way I like, this is the way you like to work. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Amen. <laughs> The Gospel of the Lord Christ. Be to God. Amen.